Time to go. I'm not going to stay here and play games. <laughs> you want to sell it. That's the way you do it. The curtains are always down. Another early morning here at the flea market. Welcome to Paper and Moose. It is flea market day. Almost 6 a.m. Sun is rising a little bit later, but people are here at the flea market setting up and people are here to buy on the hunt for treasure. So join me today. Hopefully we find some treasure to collect, resell. See what people have brought out on this flea market Sunday. <laughs> Are they good? I picked up two, well, only two things from here so far. 1931. Oh, you do? So you gotta save room for that. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Oh, she is. Yeah. Oh, the hospital. I like that. Let me oh. grab that. That's Estes PA. I think it's just a linen. Oh, it's this guy. He hasn't been here in so long. I'm so excited. Congratulations, you got a good deal. Okay. Shut up. What's the deal again? Uh -huh. Oh, he's back. What's uh -huh. the deal again? Hurry up, man. I might buy you out. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's not, he knows I was going to buy him out, but he's not going to oh. say he's not responding. He doesn't want the competition. I know. Don't worry. She has the knob for her head. That's a neat photo. I like that one. We'll have to see what he wants. There's 
I want to say New York City. <laughs> She's cute. These look like they're newer. Fiftieth wedding anniversary. driving home from the flea market and I come across this. I thought it was going to be like super heavy, but it's rather light. No, oh, that's garbage in there. So I think I'm gonna grab this. I can sell it or maybe even use it for selling shirts, but we'll see. I'm really surprised how light it is. A different bit of a recap setting. It was an okay day at the flea market. Not every day is going to be, you know, a winner. Even though YouTube, in the world of resellers, it seems like every time we go out, we find something amazing and spectacular. But that's not always the case. We have regular days and we have days where we find nothing. Sometimes I go to a thrift store or a flea market with the intention of filming and then I realize there's nothing here to really film or it's just not not a good a good vibe day. But I did come away with just a few things. I did not spend that much money, which is a good thing. I think I only spent a couple of dollars. Some days are like that. Maybe it means in a couple of weeks I'll have a great day at the flea market where I will come back with a car full of stuff. But for today, not the case. A few little things, so I thought I would share them with you. So early in the morning when it was still dark out, there was a man that had a lot of stuff, a lot of boxes to get to dig through. He was doing an estate clean out. And I think in the upcoming weeks, he's going to be bringing more stuff from that home. So I'm going to be sure to stop at his place first. But what did I get from him? I got this nephrology nurse Allentown hospital bag. There were these linens. They were plain. They didn't have anything on them except someone put a date. And I was going to buy them and I thought, what the heck am I going to do with them? You know, if they would have had a name on them or some kind of design, then I probably would have purchased them, but they didn't. So we went with this. And the sun is blaring. Oh, well. But yes, so Allentown Hospital local, unless it's the Allentown, New Jersey. Because there's an Allentown, Pennsylvania, and an Allentown, New Jersey. Pretty sure it's probably Allentown, Pennsylvania. So just a little bag. I got that. And then I got this apron from him as well. Let me find the front. Oh, here it is. Just a little simple apron, probably for Valentine's Day. That's a black heart. <laughs> it 
so I have to, I'm going to soak this just to clean it up, make sure there aren't any stains on it. Cute apron. Oh, nope, there's one little stain right there and another one and another one. But I'm becoming a champ at getting stains out, so never fear, you will be cleaned. What else did I? Oh, before I forget, I also found that um, bust or that mannequin bust in the trash. That was a great find. I drove by it at first because I thought it was one of those heavy wooden ones. And then I actually circled and came back around. And it, I mean, you know, if that weighs five pounds, if that. So I don't really deal with selling clothing online because let's face it most of the vintage shirts that I find I keep for myself <laughs> so, you know I think that that would be an easy flip at the flea market definitely because it is so light and you can adjust the height which is really nice too but I have to see if I just want to keep a whole, you know keep it for just maybe a couple more weeks to see if I delve into the world of selling t-shirts probably not Unless I like somehow come across like a treasure trove of vintage t-shirts and they're way out of my size, then, you know, then I, I, I would be in the t-shirt business. But so that, a nice little pickup after the flea market. And then I also bought some photos. There were two of the New York City skyline, which I liked, um, the one with the children and their pets. And then this one, I really enjoy just the composition of it. And, you know, you have the home, it's a double. And what I didn't even realize is that on the back, it has the names of the people. So we have Bill and Pauline standing on this side. Bill looks like he's a pretty tough worker. I'm not sure if you can see him. And then their children, Milt. Milt is sitting and Ruth is standing. So I'm guessing Milt is short for Milton. And then on this side, we have Simon and May, and they do not have the same last names, so they are not related. So guess what? We are going to do some research, put this on the research queue to find out more about these people. But I, I enjoy photographs, if you don't know that by now, but I think it's really interesting to think about what it took to take this photo back then. It's not like us, we just whip out our phone and that's it. You know, like, okay, everyone come outside, let's get together, ready, one, two, three. You know, it's a whole different process. What's interesting that is that this home looks like it could just be even a modern day home. Who knows, this home could be wherever it is. Well, I'll find out from looking these people up, but it could still look like that. Oh, that'd be fun. If this is local, I might have a project ahead of me. But I just really love their outfits. We're going with the industrial, hardworking man theme. He has his coveralls on. I've been finding different things to go with that. My coveralls, the um, hardware items. So this was a good photo. I enjoyed this. Whoa, oh, geez. <laughs> My phone was moving. <laughs> We'll keep that in there for fun. <laughs> so yes, a couple of pictures, a bag, an apron, just some little things at the flea market. This year at the flea market, I really have been missing digging through boxes of little things, of smalls, just of tiny little tchotchkes. I've, I really have missed that because I have not found that yet. And one flea market is going to be ending soon. The other one is year-round. I'm going to have to venture to some other markets, I think, just to see what is out there. You know, test the waters. Who knows what you'll find. Those could be a wasted trip. But, you know, you never know. You drive an hour and a half, you could have the greatest time and find the best things. Or you could just walk away with, you know, some local honey or pickles. I don't know. <laughs> Or fruit. Flea markets are always good to buy fruit at too and produce because they're usually homegrown and you get a discount. We are just all over the board here today and I think that that is my cue to end this. So I hope you enjoyed this little flea market. Nothing super exciting, but sometimes that's, that is just how it is. 
you know, the, the life of a YouTube person that goes to flea markets and films, it's not all glitz and glamour. I mean, it's, it's normal. <laughs> and this video just shows that. <laughs> so I hope you like this normal video. Thank you for watching. If you have watched this long, it is much appreciated. Stay tuned for other videos, other adventures, perhaps, hopefully, fingers crossed, more exciting than this one. But I have another project ahead of me with that photo. I have some other history behind the paper ideas that I just have to buckle down and make myself a good cup of tea and get some research done. One of my favorite things to do. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more. What is to come? Just have to wait and find out. Have a great day and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.